All right, the goal of this question is to try to take this equation and find the right graph that goes with it. Uh, what I would highly encourage you to do when doing problems like this is to first of all make the graph by hand. When you make the graph by hand, you want to first of all make an x-intercept for every x that you see in the equation. Noticing that whatever number is in the parentheses with the x, we're going to do the opposite of that number. So let's do that right now. So first of all, I've got my graph of the first parentheses, and I've got x plus 6. So I need to have a dot somewhere at negative 6. I've got an x-intercept at or the number of negative minus 5 there in the next parentheses, so I need to have a dot at positive 5. And lastly, I need to have a number at positive 10, and now I've successfully made my three x-intercepts for every x that I saw. The next thing I need to do is consider what the end behavior is. Now, the end behavior is found from the equation by looking at what the stretch factor is. In this case, the stretch factor is a negative 1. When it's negative, the graph will finish going down, like you see here. When this, if this were a positive, then you're going to be looking for a graph that finishes going up, like this one kind of does. So we're going to put an arrow on our graph going down. Now, as I look at the graph, I'm going to go backwards through it. When I come to each graph, I want to make sure I consider these things. If I see a pair of parentheses to the first power, I'm going to make a line. If I see a pair of parentheses and a squared, I'm going to make a parabola. And lastly, if I see a cubic or cubed, I'm going to make a cubic type graph at each of those different kinds of roots. Now, the first one I'm going to look at here is what, what parentheses makes the root of 10? That's this one. And that 10 is to the first power, so I want to make a line. So I'm going to make my line going through that by going up to the 10 and straight through it, okay? As you go through the graph and make your line, then you're going to turn around and come to the next one. And the next one's going to have an x minus 5 to the second power, which means that's going to be a parabola. So we're going to bounce off the x-axis and make a parabola at 5. Then we turn around and come around to the one that's negative 6. That graph has also got a parabola, as you can see. So that one's going to be also bouncing off and going back up. There we go. And now we've finished our graph. And now you're once you've made the graph by hand, it's pretty easy to see where the answers are. Number two is the answer, and unfortunately I is getting cut off here. So you'd select I for your answer right here. Hopefully this video helps, and I hope that you can uh, go through these steps and find your uh, graphs in the future. Good luck.